today we will discuss the analysis of spectral line produced by the laser and one type of broadening that is doppler broadening so first of all we will analyze the spectral line so what is spectral line we know that there are two types of spectral lines absorption and emission spectral lines so i will discuss the absorption spectral line when electron or atoms jump from low state to high state by absorbing some energy then the line is called absorption spectral line so the plot between intensity and frequency is like this so this bay function is already described by gaussian as well as lorentzian that is in homogeneous and in non homogeneous uh, broadenings so in this graph there are different parameters that is analysis of this graph line profile line width line kernel line wings so what are these parameters so actually these parameters are obtained from this graph so first of all what is line profile line profile is the description about spectral line either it is absorption or emission so this is the graph plot or the transition is all about it is called line profile <coughs> and second one line width line width is basically the full width at half maximum that is called fwhm so this one is full width at half maximum is called line width and what is line kernel the spectral region this region within the half width half width this region is called line kernel and the region outside this new one and new two that is before this that is less than a uh, new one and more than new two so these regions this one and this one these are called line wings so these are the parameters that is line profile line width line kernel and line wings so we have to <coughs> note down these parameters and these will be helpful in the study of uh, each spectral line so if we plot if we describe the line width separately so this one is a graph again <coughs> if we plot a graph between wavelength and intensity this is a graph between frequency and intensity it is wavelength and intensity so this one full width at half maximum for a wavelength so we it is the width of power spectral density line width can also be defined as the width of power spectral density of emitted electric field in terms of frequency wavelength or wave number so this is in case of frequency and this one in wavelength so we can draw any type of spectral graph either in terms of frequency or wavelength so these are the parameters which are associated with the spectral line now we will discuss this is doppler broadening so basically it is in homogeneous broadening so we have already discussed this broadening in short in the previous lecture that is there are two types of broadening homogeneous and non homogeneous or in homogeneous homogeneous means collision or natural and this in homogeneous means doppler so i will discuss only in homogeneous that is doppler broadening this is the introduction that is what is doppler broadening so it is the broadening of spectral line due to doppler effect that is of random thermal motion of the molecules so lack of sharpness in the spectrum cause a broadening and it it is related to the distribution of velocities of the atoms or molecules and it causes red shift and blue shift so we know that red shift means if the wavelength increases wavelength uh, moving towards high wavelength and or low uh, frequency and in case of blue shift the wavelength is decreasing and frequency is increasing so we know, already know that these are the red and blue shift so these shift are observed in doppler effect that the frequency 
of the light is changing when either both source and observer are approaching towards each other or receding from each other so this is due to doppler effect so here there is no source there is no any observer basically there are molecules or atoms which are randomly moving under thermal conditions that is thermal motion so this one the difference that is excited atoms in glasses and excited atoms crystals we know that there are two types of solids glasses and crystals that is crystalline and amorphous the first of all is amorphous so in amorphous cases that is excited atoms in glasses or other materials with little long, long range order this is amorphous glass amorphous or glass and this one is uh, crystalline or quartz so in this case there are in homogeneous broadening broadening is observed because of the host looks different at each side if we see in this diagram and we can observe from different side it looks different at different sides but in case of crystalline or crystals it is uh, symmetrical from all the sides so this is the second case that is excited atoms in crystals are generally homogeneously broadened because of periodicity or systematic arrangement of the atoms so these are the spectral line curve that is each emitter each atom produce homogeneously broadened line shape so this is line shape and it is composite line shape it is single line shape if single graph and it is composition of or number of uh, line line width which are combined with each other that is called composite line shape so this is the graph between electric field and frequency that is stark broadening as we have noted noted in the stark effect so this is a formula for maxwell distribution law fv dv is equal to this and in homogeneously broadened line shape the frequency shifted by doppler effect we know that there is shift in the frequency frequency is increased or decreased it, it will depend upon the relative motion of observer and source so this is formula for doppler effect that is in terms of frequency and this is in terms of wavelength so it is observer and x y frame of reference observer and we are observing these type of spectral lines so when it is observed in the left frame then the shifting in the frequency is observed but when we observed in the simple frame then only homogeneous broadening line, line shapes are observed so this one is a graph and this is a composite doppler broadening profile that is it consists of number of spectral lines in which the amplitude or intensity of the spectral line is changing in accordance with the doppler wave wave doppler shift or doppler effect so it is the sum of line shapes arising from all possible velocities because in case of atom molecules all atoms or molecules are not moving with the same velocity some are moving with the high speed and some are moving with low speed so with the different speeds or different velocities different line shapes are observed so it is a mixture of or sum of all the line shapes observed at different velocities so we will uh, conclude that so what is the line shape or line function this is line what is the line function or line shape corresponding to this graph so the answer will be given in the next slide so this is weigert profile if you observe weigert profile that is the effect of doppler and collision doppler means in homogeneous and collision means homogeneous broadening these are decoupled means these are separately studied so it is further argued that every point on the collision broaden line shape so the, there is this one is collision that is the graph with dotted line is 
Lorenzian or collision or homogeneous. And the graph with the dark line, it is Gaussian or Doppler. So in, it is all about that. Every point on the collision broadened, that is collision broadened, every point on this spectrum or line is further broadened by a Doppler effect. So this is further broadened by this Doppler effect. And this Weigel profile also used to combine Doppler and collision broadening. First of all, it has decoupled, then it is combination. So both combination as well as decoupled of two types of broadening, Doppler as well as collision broadening are studied by Weigel profile. So this one Gaussian, if you compare the Gaussian and Lorenzian uh, spectral line, then it is observed that Gaussian spectral line, that this one, it is higher near the peak. Peak means it is higher as compared to this Lorenzian. It is higher than the near the peak. And this is, second one is, uh, it is higher in the wings. So I have already discussed what is peak, what is wings. So wings means the frequency uh, less than nu1 and more than nu2. These are the reasons. So if we observe these reasons, then it is clear from the figure that in case of Lorenzian, it is higher wings. Wings are higher than, than the Gaussian. So there are comparison. So there are two assumptions for Doppler effect or Doppler broadening. That is first one, homogeneous line width is small as compared to the inhomogeneous line width. If you observe in the graph that the line width is small. Line width means full width at half maxima is small as compared to inhomogeneous. So this one, this one, central point half width maxima and this is half width. And second, gas atoms or molecule velocity distribution is Maxwellian. So we can apply Maxwell distribution formula for studying these molecules or gas uh, atoms. So this is the Maxwell velocity formula. We have already discussed or studied in the lower classes and this is the relation between the velocity and frequency that is these are the formulae for velocity and frequency formulae. So by using these formulae we are getting g nu d nu that is the spectral line function. So this is Gaussian distribution function this one. And in nutshell or overall the Doppler bonding has the three I have compared uh, this Doppler effect basically on the basis of three points. First one, physical origin. In Doppler broadening, the physical origin, that is a moment of transitioning atoms or molecules in the lab frame. And second one, when it is important and dominant, it is dominant at high temperature and small masses. And third one, line shear function. So this is a line shear function, which we have discussed or proved by using max equations. And this is the special cases, line shape function at line center and this one full width at half maxima from the same graph. So these are the main results obtained in the Doppler broadening that is overall nutshell or overall results. So thank you very much. These are all about Doppler effect or Doppler broadening.